What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will review this garden netting to protect these trees from deer over the winter. Otherwise, deer will eat them and destroy them. I used this netting last year and it worked with some maintenance. I did not plan to use it again because of the maintenance, but I did because it's cheap. It's about $15 for a 100 foot long by seven foot tall roll. Other options are hundreds of dollars. So I'm going to use this one more time and make a review video. So here we go. I have 22 trees to protect. I've set up green T posts 10 feet apart and they are placed 10 feet apart all the way around the line of trees. Now let's check out this netting. I got two boxes because I need about 220 feet. This gets me 200 feet and I have a little extra from last year. Garden netting protects all this stuff. And here's what I need, deer. Protects your whole garden all the time. And let's open it up. It includes zip ties to attach it to fence posts and stakes to stake it to the ground and the netting. Back at the trees, I removed the rubber bands from the netting and started to roll it out and threw it along the trees. Then stretched it out and started attaching it to the first post with zip ties, starting with one at the top, one at the center, and one at the bottom. Then pulled the net across to the next post and attached it to the top of the post, making sure the top of the net is pretty taut between the top of the posts and it's not excessively sagging down. Next, I followed the grid down to the center of the fence and pulled it over to the post. This keeps the net parallel to the ground. Otherwise, it'll get skewed and all out of whack and I'll end up with a mess at the end. Then install a zip tie to hold it in place and follow the grid the rest of the way down to the bottom and zip tie it in place. I'm not quite using the full height of the seven foot net, so there's some extra length at the bottom. Bunch it up and use a stake to secure it in place. I spaced two stakes evenly between the posts, one here and one here. This will keep the net down and stop animals from going underneath it. Then I moved to the next section and repeated the process all the way around the trees. I had 24 sections, so it took a while but I made it all the way around. So here we are. The net is up all the way around the trees. It's about six feet tall and it should keep the deer out for the winter. There's a little bit of condensation on it, so that makes it easier to see in the video. The net is pushed to the limit, spanning it 10 feet between posts like this. It's excessive and I definitely wouldn't do any more. If I use this netting again in the future, I will add additional posts in between these ones so it only spans five feet between posts. Now, I will check in on it throughout the winter and see how it holds up. And here we are in January. A lot of snow accumulates on it, and the snow is definitely heavy and weighing it down. It's really sagging. It's going to be a problem for this lightweight fence. And here we are the next day. The weight of the snow was too much and pulled down the fence in a few places. The strands that the zip ties were holding to the post broke. It's mostly okay. There's no issues in the center, but there's some more sections that are down, down here at the other end as well. And it wasn't just the weight of the snow that accumulated on the fence. Down at the bottom, there's a lot of slack buried. It looks like the snow on the ground just kept pulling it down. So I used some more zip ties and re-secured the net to the posts. And here we are a few weeks later. I got some heavy snow and it really took down quite a bit of the fence. It didn't just pull the fence off the post this time. The net ripped and separated in some places. This was a lot of snow and I'm not surprised. The 10 foot span is just too much for this. But I got the zip ties out and got it all straightened back out. Here we are in February and everything is still intact. There is some sag between the posts. The weight of the snow looks to have permanently stretched things out a little bit but it's all good. The fencing material is holding up, and when there's not a bunch of heavy snow weighing it down and tearing it down, it does the job. Here we are in mid-February, and this is where the fence is worth every penny of the $30, and the time I spent putting it up. These trees are advertised as deer resistant, and the deer don't touch them during the summer, but in the winter, when all of the vegetation is gone, the deer are happy to eat and destroy them. The fence is doing its job, the deer cannot access the trees. So the fence successfully does the job. 
I've watched the deer walk around the fence, poking at it on several occasions. They've never broken through. They eventually give up and leave. Here's this deer giving up and leaving. And this one. And all the other deer probably didn't even try because they already know what's up. I've got the $30 fence. And here we are at the end of February, no problems. This snow did not stick to the fence and pull it down. No repairs required. And here we are in the middle of March. The fence is stretched out and sagging, but still intact and operational. And now we're at the end of March. I did notice that this end disconnected from the post. Those zip tie connections are weak, and I'm guessing the snow pulled it down. So I re-zip tied it back to the post. So here we are in mid-April. That is the end of the season, and I am done with this temporary fence. It has held up with no additional issues. Here's some extra fencing left over from last year. When I used this fence last year, the results were similar, but I did have a few random rips that I repaired with zip ties. I did not experience it this year. The fencing works, but it does require some supervision and maintenance, especially if there's heavy snow, and I definitely pushed the limit spanning at 10 feet like that. It's kind of a hassle, but it's cheap. It was $30, and technically it does work. Was the hassle and maintenance worth the low cost for this specific application? For me, no, I won't be using this again. I respaced the post every five feet and tried some of this heavy duty snow guard fence. It went up really nice and seems very durable. At this time, I plan to use this all the way around the trees in the winter. It was available in orange and green, and it was $40 for a 100 foot long by four foot tall roll. I stacked two rolls, so this is seven feet tall. So that wraps this up. I hope you found it helpful. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.